guys, welcome back. This is acrylic painting with me, Julie E. And I have a really great collaboration that I can't wait to get started with and tell you about. We are going to be collaborating today with Sherry Pfaff, Paintbrush, and Catherine the Paint. So after you watch this, please go check out their channels and see what they've done for their collaboration pieces. Um, it's a St. Patrick's Day pour, and we've all agreed that we are only going to use shades of green. Any shades of green that we want, in any type of technique that we want, any type of mediums, any type of substrates. So you could possibly see alcohol inks, you could possibly see resin work from either of them, um, or they could even be doing acrylic like me. So we don't know what each other's doing. We only know that we're all using greens and one metal. So it could be a gold, it could be a bronze, it could be a silver, a pewter, who knows? Who knows what's gonna show up? I think we even said that a uh, pearl could count as the metallic metal um, that we were gonna use. So, um, yeah. I will bring you down on the canvas, tell you the technique and the paints and everything that we're using. So give me just a second and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got you down here, we can talk of paints. Um, the first color we have is Garage Posse um, Juniper Shimmer. This is one of the new springtime paints from Christina Welch and you can find her on Etsy. I will include a link to her channel and her paints. And yeah, they are so yummy and thick. Oh my gosh, check that out. They don't even pour out of the bottle. That's how nice and thick and yummy they are. So, um, yeah, so that's our first color. It is Juniper Shimmer, and I already brushed on a regular coat onto my canvas. Oh, and my canvas is a 12 by 12 edge canvas from Jerry Zargarama. And the reason I brushed on the um, juniper is because it is an iridescent. So um, I wanted to make sure I got a really good coverage once I poured on the regular fluid base coat. So that was just to give it a little extra coverage. And then our next color is going to be, what is it? Deep Lagoon. That is also a Parage Posse paint and a shimmer and it is really beautiful. It's kind of a phalo green or turquoise green deep. It just, it's beautiful. I just love this color. So pretty. And it goes really good with the juniper. Perfect match between those two as far as a contrast of light and dark. Um, then this one is antique copper metal, metallic. And it's gorgeous. It's more of a wine colored copper and I love this. It's not um, too purpley of a shade of copper. It's more leaning towards burgundy copper. Really pretty. And let's see. Then, last but not least, I have Arteza Pearl Olive Green. And to that, I added just a tiny smidge of Permanent Green Deep from Amsterdam and that is the other green we have so these are my greens and this is my metal the technique we're going to be doing is a Dutch pour and I saw those colors all sitting together and they just said Dutch pour me so that's what we're gonna do okay so I'm sure you don't want to hear the blow dryer blowing all over the place, so I will put on some music.
it right there. I think we're good. Yeah. That's it. No more touchy touchy. As much as I want to. What a liar I am, huh? <laughs> Can't not touchy touchy. It's always too tempting. Yeah, okay. I'm done. No more touchy touchy. Storch. in a little bit for dry results okay here it is these are the dry results I'm gonna get this in real quick while we had a wee bit of sunlight uh, it's been cold and rainy here the last few days so uh, yeah I think it came out really nice I wish I would have gotten some more color up and through here and I'm not a big fan of that I guess it's a cell it looks like an air bubble that just kind of and left no color in its wake but other than those two factors I think it came out beautifully so but yeah definitely need more practice on my Dutch pours need to start doing more of them so look for more in the future hopefully better but yeah all in all I think it came out really pretty and it's almost like it's got three petals like a shamrock. <laughs> okay. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Please check out Sherry Pfaff Paintbrushed and Catherine the Paint to see what they did for their collaboration pieces. Loves and hugs, y'all. Bye.